I knew I'd be around people that were on drugs, but I didn't think that the emotions would actually come out. I moved to Hong Kong in 1993. By 1998, I had an insane coke habit. I could do anything I really wanted to. I mean, Asia was kind of my playground. I was making a lot of money, and I was snorting every cent that I could. So tonight, we're going to hostile environments where people might be a little uncomfortable with our presence. If anything, we have to work as a team. It's a crack house. They're going to let us film. The smell was so strong. It just brought back so many memories of being in those same kinds of places. All we're trying to do with this documentary is show people where crack can take you. And why, once they start crack, why they can't get off it? Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Whoa, hey, buddy, hey, what? get out of here. Jesus Christ. They've been on drugs for a long time. I've been doing drugs off and on for over 30 years. 10 years. 15, 20 years. Every day? Every day. Stealing, yeah. robbing, yeah. anybody. Steal from my family. And it just got worse, and then it became violent. I had ripped off this drug dealer. The next time he saw me, he was going to kill me. I don't think any of them had any intention to, to be that person that we were put into rehab. It's hard, you know? It's hard. I was not willing to quit. If I could get help from you, that'd be a blessing. The close on Saturday. You gotta be kidding me. I'm thinking you let me down. Yeah, sure. Make sure you call me, otherwise there's nothing I can do. I ended up relapsing myself. And at this point in Paul's life, it's, it's really the last chance that he's got. I love the guy, but I can't continue this way, always suffering for his addiction. The addiction became more important than being a good person. Where you been? It was easier to turn the phone off and avoid this situation than it was to come clean. We've all lost trust in you. Got to clean up. Anyone else in the world would thought the day they become a father, whatever addiction they have, they'd want to work on it. I would recommend you come back into treatment because this is really about the rest of your life. I don't want this anymore. If he messes this up again, it's going to be a never-ending story, but it, it cannot be a never-ending story for me. It's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Getting clean was the best thing. To say I put my family through hell and back. I'll never be able to take that back, and that's the hardest thing. That's, that's the hardest thing. It made me think right. about a couple of things, too, so thank that's you. That's good. Thanks. Appreciate that.